ஹலோ எவ்ரி மேம் ஐம் டாக்டர் ராதிகா தோர்கல் காமியா கேட்ராக்ட் அண்ட் ரிஃப்ராக்டிவ் கன்சல்டன்ட் இன் ஷேக்கரை ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ஜே பி நகர் பெங்களூர் டுடே ஐ எம் ஹியர் டு டாக் அபவுட் த ரோல் ஆஃப் ஆக்வியஸ் ஹியூமர் இன் ஐ ஹெல்த் So before going ahead and understanding what is the role of aqueous humor, we will know what are the structures of the eye and then we will go ahead and talk about it. So uh, if this is the side view of the eye, this is the front portion of the eye cornea. Uh, in between there is a brown camera like shutter. So that is called the iris and behind that there is a natural crystalline lens. so what happens is the space between the cornea and the iris is the anterior chamber and between the iris and the crystalline lens that is called as posterior chamber so now what is the relevance to our topic is that aqueous humor which is a clear fluid which is formed in the eye is formed here in the posterior chamber in a place called in a uh, structure called the ciliary body and this aqueous is circulated in the anterior and posterior chamber so we will discuss about the function and the role of aqueous humor in maintaining eye health in the next uh, part of this video but before that we will know how aqueous humor circulates so the aqueous humor is formed here in the ciliary body it is formed there and so goes into the posterior chamber first and then through the pupil it comes to the anterior chamber so here it uh, is in between the iris and the cornea so now since we have understood where this aqueous humor is formed and how it circulates now we will try to understand what is the role of aqueous humor so this aqueous humor is basically water it is 99% water along with some uh, 1% nutrients uh, carbohydrates glucose antioxidants in it okay so this uh, in the eye uh blood vessels are there in the retina but in the anterior structures that is the front structures of the eye like cornea and the lens uh, there is no blood supply means there is no direct blood vessels entering these organs so what aqueous humor does is it provides nutrition to these structures so secondly after nutrition that is nutrition to the cornea and the crystalline lens the second main important role of aqueous humor is uh, it keeps the eye in a inflated state means it provides the turgence to the eye so now how is this important to, to the eye health so what happens is uh, this inflated state uh, this also has to be in an optimal state so whether it is there in an optimal inflated state or not can be measured Uh, by a parameter called intraocular pressure so just like blood pressure is there in the blood vessels in the eye there is intraocular pressure so this can be measured by measuring the intraocular pressure through various devices like non contact tonometers or applanation tonometry so now how is this uh, intraocular pressure important to the uh, health of the eye so what it does is um, this eye pressure has to be optimal optimal in the sense in an acceptable range of probably 15 to 21 mm of mercury so if this is either more or less then it is a problem so when the intraocular pressure is more that is the uh, intraocular pressure when it is more what happens is the main nerve of the eye called as optic nerve which sends signals to the brain whatever a person sees the signals are sent through the optic nerve so when this intraocular pressure is more it puts pressure on the optic nerve and it produces a nerve damage it means the optic nerve gets damaged 
so in the long run the optic nerve if it is damaged then the field of vision is reduced so initially in the initial stages this may not be evident and only in the later stages this uh, visual fields defect can be perceived by the patient so now we have when we have learned about intraocular pressure increased intraocular pressure and visual field defects we should know what is this condition called as it is called as glaucoma so when the intraocular pressure is uh, accompanied increased in intraocular pressure is accompanied with visual field defects it's called as glaucoma so what one can do to prevent glaucoma is uh, have regular eye checkup with qualified doctors uh, especially if one has predisposing factors like uh, Uh, diabetes or high spectacle power or a family history of glaucoma uh, they should have a checkup and any person who is more than 40 years of age should have an eye checkup to know whether any of such problems are there the uh, treating ophthalmologist in is in a best situation to advise whether any such problems are there in the eye so it can be in the form of some tests which are done like to assess the intraocular pressure to assess the visual field of a patient it can be done and confirm whether glaucoma is there or not now coming to the next important role of aqueous humor so as i told you that aqueous humor is a clear fluid but there are some situations in which this aqueous humor loses its clarity in conditions like trauma to the eye or there is some inflammation in the eye called uveitis or iritis the aqueous humor it loses its clarity so it has to be treated appropriately with steroid drops by the ophthalmologist and then again once the inflammation is controlled the aqueous humor becomes pristine clear as i mentioned to you previously Uh, that the aqueous humor also has antioxidants in it so these are very important in maintaining the health of the eye so for example these antioxidants have a role in preventing the early cataract formation so in that way uh, when antioxidants are consumed in the body uh, through fruits vegetables uh, etc uh, the antioxidants they reach an optimum level in the aqueous humor and Uh, prevent early cataract formation but yes there is always an aging phenomenon and cataract can still form even if the antioxidants are there but this and these antioxidants can just delay the process of cataract formation i would like to conclude my talk on the role of aqueous humor uh, telling that it's a very important fluid in maintaining the eye health and only periodic checkup can help a patient or to know whether his eye health is good or not which can be done by periodic checkup with the eye doctor lastly i would thank all of you for patiently listening to my talk and understanding the role of aqueous humor in eye health hope this video was useful for you all thank you